Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this attendance tracking spreadsheet that has a couple of key features that are useful for tracking either team or class attendance. The first one being there's a drop down list to mark whether an athlete is attended, absent, or late, which will automatically color code depending on selection. Along the bottom here, there's a tracker to mark how many of the athletes out of the whole team have attended the session. And on the right side here, there is a counter that counts how many sessions the athlete has attended, how many they are absent from, and how many they are late for. So let's get after it. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a blank copy of the attendance worksheet from the intro video. And down the right side here are the things that we're going to have to make this attendance sheet do in order to have all the functionality. So. The first thing that we're going to do is add the check mark symbols. So you might see here in green and over here down here in green um, the check mark symbol. And you can use whatever symbol you want in order to signify that the athlete or student has attended. I like the check mark symbol because it just um, it's something that kind of conveys the message that I want. Um, the keyboard shortcut in Google Sheets to enter a check mark is actually a little formula that we're going to use. So along the top here on the yellow, we're just going to put in that formula. So I'll select the first box here and I'm going to put equals and then char, C-H-A-R for character and then bracket. And this allows us to take um, keyboard characters um, and import them into Google Sheets. So we're going to use um, the character for the check mark, which is 10004. And when I close that bracket and hit enter, you're going to see that it actually gives me the check mark icon. So I don't want there to be a formula in that box every time I want to see a check mark. If you look over here on the green up in the box, it just shows the check mark. So what I'm going to do is actually control C and copy that. And I'm going to select all the cells that I want to paste that in. I'm going to hit right click, paste special, and then I'm only going to paste the values. And what that will have done is it will just paste the value of the check mark and not the formula that we use to get it. Okay, so that's, that's the first um, little trick in this attendance spreadsheet. Now, the second thing that we want to do is actually alternating color the, um, the area where we're going to actually track our data. Just to make it a little easier when we're going across, we can figure out which athlete we're selected on. If we had many athletes, this makes it a little bit easier to work with. So what we want to do is just select all of the um, rows where we want to actually select our data and then we're going to go to format and there's an option down here called alternating colors and if we click that we can actually pick a color scheme that we want for our sheet. I'm going to use the red one because it'll show up nice on the video um, and we don't have a header row but it thinks that athlete one is our header row so I'm actually going to change that color and we'll make it the same as our other one um, and then if we hit done what you'll be able to see is now these are alternating in their colors so it'll actually make it really easy um, for us to see which athlete we have selected okay so the next piece of functionality that we're going to add is actually the drop down menu so that's a pretty easy way to do it we're going to do it very much the same way that we do in the excel videos so what we're going to do is just select all of the cells where we want the drop down menu to go and I'm going to go to data data validation and it's going to ask me which cell range I want and because I've already selected them um, that's already kind of filled out for me and then we want to make a list and we're going to make it from a range and the way that I've set up my sheet down here is if I actually select these three in the legend that can be my drop down list and I'll hit OK and I'm going to make it an in or a, a drop down list in the cell. And then if I hit save, what you're going to notice is that when we have a drop down list in Google Sheets, it's going to put this downward triangle in the box. And then I can actually select that and I can select any of the values out of my legend. And because we've made it um, refer down here, if I was to change this to say late, then when I go to my drop down list, the late will actually be there. So it'll all kind of match the same format. So I'm actually going to change that back to L. 
and I'm going to put it as a check mark. Okay. So then the next trick is actually when we have a cell here highlighted, I want it to actually highlight green if the athlete has attended that session and then dark red if it's an absent and dark yellow if it's a late. So for all of the cells here, I'm going to select them once again and I can hit format and then there's an option for conditional formatting. And for right now, it's giving me the option to add a single color. But what I want it to actually refer to is if the cell contains the check mark icon. So I'm going to select from the format rules and I'm going to select text contains and I'm actually going to paste one of the check marks in this box and then when I hit done it's going to apply that formatting to all of the different boxes and anytime I select a check mark it's actually going to highlight it green which will make it really easy for me to look at later and determine if there is um, if the athletes have actually attended. So we'll follow the same rule and we'll do it for the other two colors. So I can put add another rule here and for the same um, group of cells we'll hit text contains and we're going to do absent so we'll do a capital A and then I want the color to be dark red if they're absent and I'll hit done and then I'll finish it off with text contains and we want it to be L for late and we're going to make that dark yellow. And when I hit done, if I go to any of these cells and I select absent or late, you can see that it automatically colors them appropriately. Okay, so that's um, phase four of our sheet functionality. Now our last two is a formula that we're going to use to check how many of the athletes have actually attended. Um, and then for each athlete, how many of the sessions they've attended, how many they've been absent from, and how many they've been late for. So it's actually going to be the same formula or a very similar formula that we're going to use. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to make a formula in this bottom box here. And the formula is going to be equals count if. And then it's going to ask me the range that I want. And I'm going to select this whole range. and then I'll put a comma and the criteria I want is if that cell actually contains my check mark value and then when I close that off what you're going to notice it'll give me the value of two because every cell that contains that check mark value it will count okay now if you remember from the intro video what we actually had that is um, or what we actually had that look at was how many out of the number of athletes actually attended the session. So we're going to modify this formula a little bit and what it's going to look like is because I want to include athletes that were late as well because they would have still have attended the session I'm going to use the value plus or I'm going to use the symbol plus and I'm going to use that count if formula again count if and I'm going to select the same range and then for that value, we're going to put quotations, L quotations, and close that off. So now what you'll see is if I actually enter that formula, it's going to give me the value of three because we have two check marks and one L. And now what we want that to be is um, three out of how many athletes we have have actually attended the session. So what we do there is we can use the value of and, okay, and then anything we put in quotations here is going to get displayed as um, text. So I'm going to put a space quotation and then I want a slash symbol. So I'm going to have a space slash space, the end or a end quotation, then the end. And I want it to actually count how many athletes we have in our list. So we're going to have a count if on the other side of this count if. And for this one, we want to count how many athletes we have. So we will select the athlete range. And then I will put a comma. And then we're going to use a wild card. So I'm going to put quotation, asterisk, quotation. Close that off. And what the asterisk actually does, it will count any characters in a cell. So whenever we type a new name in the athlete list, it will actually count that up. So when I hit enter, what you're going to notice is it's going to say 3 out of 10. 
And because we want this formula to be draggable, what I'm gonna need to do here is actually put some dollar signs in front of the A and the four, and that will actually lock the values in place when I go to drag it. So as I drag it over, I don't want the range to change from A to B to C. So with a dollar sign, I can lock that range in place. And now when I hit enter, it's still gonna give me the same answer, but I should be able to drag this formula over and it's gonna work on any of the cells now. But you'll notice because we didn't lock in any of the other um, ranges, they have actually moved over one because of the way our formula was set up. So you can see this will update really nicely. If we keep adding check marks, we have four check marks here. You can see we have four athletes out of 10. If we add a couple that were late, you can see we get down to six athletes out of 10 that were actually at the session. We'll close off this conditional formatting. So that's how we create the number of athletes, or uh, sorry, the number that have attended out of the number of athletes at the bottom. And then the only final step here is to actually select for each athlete how many times they've attended, been absent, or late. So I'm gonna use a very similar formula here. So I'll select at the end here and I'll put equals count if um, bracket and the range I want is the range of where I'm storing the athletes values. And then for this, I'm gonna hit quotation. I'll put the check mark in there, quotation, close that off. And when I hit enter, it's gonna count the number of check marks that I put there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for absent. So I'll put equals count if the same range. And for this one, we actually want quotation A quotation and block that off. And finally, we want late. So I'll put equals count if bracket, select my range, comma, quotation, L quotation, close the bracket off and then hit okay. And what you'll notice is if I add some absences and some lates for that particular athlete, it's actually gonna count those. And if you wanted to, we could make a graph out of this and that would be something that we could show our coaches or anything, anyone else that needed to see this information. So then because these formulas haven't really been locked in, I should be able to drag those down but what you'll notice is when you drag stuff down, it's actually gonna copy the formatting as well. So because I have a really um, thick black border at the top here, it's actually copied that all the way down. And I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna fix that back up. I'll select all the cells that I wanna change and I'll use Google Sheets borders function. And I want it to change the inside border. So I'll select that one. And then I want it to make it back to a thin line. So there you have it. That is how to create a simple attendance sheet for Google Sheets, and you can use this really in any way you want. You can change the legend or the symbols if you want, or kind of anything else that you want. So um, I hope this helps you out um, in tracking your team's attendance, and I'll see you next time on the next video. Remember, please like and subscribe to the channel. As well, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at DSM Strength. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please just post them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me on any one of the social media platforms because I'm always looking for new ideas and new things to create to help coaches out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.